Joel Rubin, former U.S. State Department official. Joel, are we heading towards some kind of ground war with Iran? Well, Stuart, I surely hope not. And it feels like the potential for getting tripped up into a war or even, quite frankly, President Trump getting tricked into a war is very real. And, and that's going against his instincts. Uh, we have to remember that President Trump in the 2016 campaign spoke out against the invasion of Iraq. He got cheered for it. He has said he wants diplomacy. But it seems like the system, John Bolton, Mike Pompeo, that they're pushing us in a direction where it's very reminiscent of the pre-war activities in 2002 when we invaded Iraq. What do you mean uh, the President Trump tricked into a war with Iran? Mm. Yeah, it, what, what's happening right now is that there's a system in place in the State Department at the White House that is looking to ramp up pressure on Iran. And at the same time, President Trump continually states he wants diplomacy. He uh, joked last week about how John Bolton is to his right and he has to pull him back. And so there are a lot of third party actors right now. We may be seeing that as well in some of these attacks uh, on Saudi Arabia, on UAE. We don't know what's going on. And President Trump is going to hear about this and his instincts are to try to look for a diplomatic out but it doesn't sound like his team is pushing in that direction well that is understandable isn't it i mean there have been reports of ships attacked in the gulf um, and the saudis say it was the iranians who did it the iranian economy is contracting rapidly because of the sanctions on their exporting of oil they're in a tough spot they could easily lash out and that's what the president's defending against isn't it right well we we have to defend uh, ourselves and we have to defend our assets if they're hit uh, it's unclear what was hit and who did it but we also have to remember that when we're talking about war plans of 120,000 troops we're talking about the need for congress to authorize military action it's one thing to defensively protect yourself and we have 30 to 40,000 troops already in the Gulf and it's another thing to actually prepare for a massive amount of troops of 120,000 which is a very different signal from defending ships in the, the Gulf yes that is Joel thanks for joining us we'll see you again soon thanks, thanks so much. Much. okay